torture, relief, and a nightmare. These were the words you used. I'm sorry to take you down memory lane and the painful moments, but our viewers would like to know, what did it do to you? How did it change you as a person? And what were the lessons learned? Well, you know, you, you, you plunge through grief, you plunge through pain, you plunge through a sense of disbelief at the things that are being said about you because you don't recognize yourself in the, in the portraits uh, that are being painted. Uh, you see uh, friends walk away, uh, uh, or, or you are aware, and soon enough you're made aware that the moment you leave a room, there are people saying things behind your back and all of these things. So either you can just flee from the world, as it were, and go and hide yourself in a dark corner, or you can just say, I know who I am, I have a clear conscience, I know uh, what I've done and not done, I know what I'm capable of doing, and I will continue uh, doing the, offering the best of myself, which is what I came to India to do. I didn't get into politics and public life uh, in order to enter controversies. I'd had a, a rather controversy-free life for nearly three decades in the United Nations. Were there moments when you wanted to flee and lock yourself up in a room and maybe cry silently in the dark of the night? Oh, I think the crying silently in the dark of the night must have happened anyway, uh, because uh, some of the stuff going on was awful. And, you know, uh, when, when my then 80-year-old mother uh, burst into tears upon, upon hearing what neighbors were saying in the building about what they'd seen on television or, or, or read in, in a certain newspaper, obviously that's shattering. You know, I had been perhaps spoiled by having led a life where my parents had reason to be proud of me. Uh, throughout my life. I never thought that anything that I was accused of doing would ever reduce them to that kind of uh, state. So I went through an enormous amount of grief. And, you know, I'm human. I mean, I think all of yeah. us, anyone, any one of us uh, facing this kind of thing would have suffered that too. Uh, so, so, yeah, but I'm not a quitter. I've never been somebody who, who has run away from problems. And I've had to deal with all sorts of professional, personal, political uh, and other problems in my life. So I decided to stand there and face the problem uh, in the only way I knew and the best way I could, which turned out to be the right thing to do, I think.